This is uh, Compu Geek MSN. Um, hi. You can see me. Don't look at. Okay. Um, subscribe. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, this is a tutorial, video tutorial on how to jailbreak your iPod Touch first and second gen, and I guess I think the iPhone um, regular and the iPhone 3G, not the 3GS. I don't think this applies to, but just don't do it with the 3GS. Just don't, okay? And um, it does not apply to the brand new iPod Touches, the iPod Touch 3G, or the iPhone 3GS. Um, or there's, or your regular iPod if you just upgraded it, and I'll show you what it would look like. So um, basically, you have to find out what your iPod is. This is the first thing you gotta do. And um, the main thing is, if it's an iPhone, Obviously, the back would be black if it's the 3G. If it's the regular one, it's not. Um, the iPod, um, it's the 2G and the 3G iPod, or second gen, the third gen iPod Touch. Have, and you can only do this with the iPod Touch and iPhone, obviously, as you might have figured out. Um, it's these two. Also, if you do have a regular iPod, you can still do something with it. It's called um, Rockbox or Rocketbox or something. And look for a tutorial on that. I don't have a regular iPod, so... Yeah, I use Zoom because Zoom doesn't suck ass like Apple. I like Apple iPods. Uh, this is actually my dad's. It's not mine. Um, but, okay. So, uh, the second gen has volume buttons and the third gen does. Um, but first, and the other one does not. The first gen does not. So basically, but that really doesn't matter anyway. Because um, here's what you really got to find. Hit settings. And then go to general. And about. That. General. About. And find your version. It'll say V E R S I O N. It'll be one, two, three, four, five, six from the top. And it'll say um, 3.0, 2.0, 1. Whatever, 1. Point something, 2. Point something. Okay. Basically, you can jailbreak any of those, if as long as it says version 3.0 or anything or less. 3.1. 3.0.1 is okay, but 3.1 or 3.11 or anything higher, you cannot jailbreak, as of now at least. So don't try. It will not work. This jailbreak will definitely not work for it. So don't try. I mean, you can, but you're going to be wasting your time. So first thing you want to do is, um, this is only for the, really the people who, um, or actually this is for everybody. Um, this part is for everybody, but um, there's going to be a part where it's only for people without it. Um, okay, but basically, what you have to do is just Google search, or actually, it's the first link in the description, but just Google it anyway, if you don't want to hit the link, or whatever, I don't know, whatever, they're strange people, but, um, okay, so, um, what, iPod, uh, iPod, firmware, download, maybe, let's see here, it's, yeah, there, iPod firmware download, and Google it, and it'll be the first result you'll find, it'll say, I think, usually, um, flexiburns.de slash iPod slash iPod firmware is the uh, URL. So just click it and you'll get this screen. And then what you'll do is you have to find iPhone or and iPod Touch. So you click that drop down menu and you find your uh, model. Um, obviously, figure it out. Um, iPod 1G and iPod 2G. I have the iPod 2G, second gen. And you click the 3.0, okay? You know what? If you don't do it, I really don't give a shit. You won't be able to jailbreak your iPod. If you think, well, oh, he's just trying, you know, I don't care. Do whatever the fuck you want, okay? What the fuck? Um, okay. What the? Putting the porn ads on mega upload already? Christ. Um, okay. So what you do is you just enter in this or whatever. I don't know, whatever the code is. Uh, mine is BWZ4, but I'm not going to do it because I'm lazy. Hit download file and then hit, um, uh, it'll be like right here or something, uh, free download or something like that. So, um, okay, uh, and then X that out once it's downloading and save it. Save file and save it to your desktop. Okay, now, uh, once that's downloaded, um, download the second link in the description. Um, I'm not even going to bother Googling it. Um, but basically, what you're going to do is, uh, once you download it, it's going to be, I don't know what it'll look like, but double click on it, or back click it, and hit, ex and, uh, find extract in here, and then click it, and just go through the menu, and get it so you have the files here. It's the second link in the description. 
Um, so, um, and you'll find all the files. And basically, you want to open up and find, um, let's see here. They'll say Red Snow, actually. That's what the firmware uh, file will look like, is like that, and then uh, Red Snow will look like that. Okay, now, um, for those of you who do not, who the number that you saw on the about was not 3.0, anything other than 3.0. Um, for those of you actually who didn't upgrade, who were smart, um, you get, you just save 10 or 20 bucks or however much it costs because now you don't have to pay for it. And, and by the way, never update, okay? At least not yet. Or at least until there's a jailbreak for it. Just never update once you jailbreak it. Just don't. Alright, so um, for those of you who have anything other than 3.0, hold shift and click restore. Um, shift. Let's, one second. It'll look like this. And um, click that file that you had right there. And then uh, hit open. I'm not going to do it because I already have 3.0. And then once that's all done, your iPod, then get it all ready. Okay. And then once it's a regular iPod again, just X out this. You don't need iTunes anymore. And double click on Red Snow. Hit Browse. And find your firmware file. The same exact ones used for iTunes. Um, and open it. It'll process it. It'll be identified. Okay. And then hit Next. If it didn't identify, you probably picked the wrong one. So figure it out. Um, by the way, if you have a first gen iPod, it's going to say iPod 2 or iPod 1. If you have a second gen iPod, it's going to say iPod 2, comma 1. If you have a first gen, by the way, it's going to say iPod 1, comma 1, I think, or something like that. Okay, anyway. Well, um, so then once you have that, hit next. Uh, and while this is happening, you can turn off your iPhone or iPod. I'm saying iPod, but uh, iPhone also. Uh, I think iPhones also work for this. Um, but if you have an iPhone, just, I don't know, figure it out. Um, okay, and, uh, shut it off with, slide it off, and then, um, uh, find out if it's off, make sure it's off by clicking the home button. If nothing comes up, well, then it's off. Okay, only select s install Cydia. You can only pick one. IC sucks. If you want IC, if you know what IC is, well, then you can click IC, but do not do both. You will seriously screw up your iPod, and then you'll brick it, as I said. I guess that's the only way. And you won't even brick it. You just won't be able to get in the city, and you'll have to restore it. And by the way, that shift restore thing, that's what you do when you brick your iPod. That's all you have to do. Okay, now, this is going to be the hardest part, at least for me. Um, it's probably going to be pretty hard for you guys, too. But uh, it's going to be really hard for me, because, well, I have to hold a camera. So, what I'm going to do is actually, what you would do is you'd hit next... Um, and then hold, do what it tells you, but I'm going to do it before I hit next, because I can, and just because it works better for me, and I'll just, I'll explain it later. It, I'll explain it later. So, um, what you do is, um, you hit next, and then you hold, right after you hit next, you hold, you hold the, let's see here. This is why I'm not doing it the regular way, because I have to do it with only one hand, and I can't click the mouse. So, you hold the power button, one two, three, then you hold both, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, then you let go of that and just hold the home button, and then I'm clicking next, see, and it'll act, it, it tells you the instructions and stuff, there you go, but in mine, it'll just zip through it because I already did it, um, I already memorized the instructions because I've been doing this so much, um, and hold the home button the whole time. Just keep holding it. Don't let go until that says done. Don't let go of the home button, which is the middle one. Don't let go until that says done. Just keep holding on to it. It may be unnecessary, but just keep holding on to it. Because if you just let go immediately, it won't work at all. So it's just easier just to hold it for another 15 seconds. You know, deal with it. Um, okay, hit finish. And then this is your iPod, uh, just let it finish. Dun dun dun, okay. Uh, basically, it'll be done and everything, and then you just uh, open it up, and then you'll have your, it'll be jailbroken, you'll have Cydia, and there's a bunch of cool things you can do with it, but um, you'll just have to figure those out yourself. Okay, um, 